Revit MEP has the ability to create multiple different types of objects, both architectural, structural, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection, etc. All of these objects that we wind up creating have their own unique instance properties. And these instance properties are specific to that particular element that's been created. In this example, let's take a look at a wall. I've gone ahead and drawn a wall, and we're in a view where we can select them. It's a coordination view. We can see that over here, which allows me to select these architectural components. And we'll notice that once I select that object, the element properties are displayed on the right-hand side. These properties are specific to the specific element or elements that I have selected in the design. Please notice that if I hold down the control key, of course, I can select more than one. And if I use the shift key, I can deselect. In this case, I'll go ahead and use the tab key and then hold down the control key and click. And I was able to select the entire chain of walls. And because I had the control key held down, add that to my prior selection set. So in this case, I now have numerous different walls selected. And we can now go in and change the properties for them at the instance level. Going in, we could change the type of wall. So as an example, I could tell it that I'd like these to be six inch walls instead. And we'll notice that they automatically update. Again, if I needed to add any kind of comments or perhaps marks, perhaps these walls are going to be a certain type of wall, we could add that information here as well. Please don't forget that this same process applies to anything in the design, be it plumbing, piping, plumbing fixtures, HVAC ducts, diffusers, and terminals, or anything that we place into the design. Simply selecting the objects allows us to be able to edit the instance properties inside of Revit MEP.